family how are y'all doing i'm back again so this is a prophetic word for anyone who really has been feeling attacks from the enemy and you don't understand what's going on because you're like god like i'm doing your work i'm living out your will you know what i'm saying like i'm living righteously whatever the case may be or trying to and you feel like the devil keeps sending a text let me tell you something the devil is petty and the closer you get to god he gets even petty -er. the devil is so petty he's childish and he's manipulative and he's just beneath our feet okay so think about somebody being beneath your feet they're mad okay the devil's so mad but let me tell you how petty the devil is okay because i'm dealing with this right now and the the lord was saying the devil wants to steal your peace and your joy so imagine that you're getting closer to god you're starting to feel his presence more you're starting to feel conviction this, this it's okay this is for new christians and this is for people who've been walking with god it's just it doesn't matter this is really a word for everybody but no matter what the devil if the devil can't steal financially from you if the devil can't steal your blessings even though he might be holding on to them he can't steal them okay once you're really living out the will of god you know what i'm saying he might be holding on to them but he has to let them go he has to release them and up until you get to the point where god wants you the devil will attack you he will try to steal your peace and your joy if he can't take nothing else and that's our peace of mind and we need it okay do not let the devil do that because let me tell you something that is a, it's important to stay in peace because it's like you have to trust god no matter what's going on you really have to trust god not yourself you can't be trying to figure it out yourself you can't be trying to wrap your mind around how he's gonna do it you can't be trying to uh figure out why this is happening or that's happening you know around you because the devil's never gonna stop he's always up and ready to attack you know he roars like a lion seeking whom he may devour okay but the lord was also speaking overflow so he's like don't worry about what you see in the natural okay there's no point in time where you should be looking at what's going on naturally, looking at your surroundings, looking at the people that may seem like they're getting by on their, the attacks that they're sending you themselves. Because, you know, people work for the enemy as well, knowingly and unknowingly. So it's like you cannot be looking at it from a natural perspective. You have to look at everything, every single thing from a spiritual perspective. Don't look at that. Look at what I'm saying. Overflow. That's what he's saying. Overflow, overflow, overflow. So get ready to feel that overflow. Get ready to see that overflow. Get ready to receive those blessings. Get ready for that increase, okay? Get ready to experience the power that God has placed in you. Get ready to experience them in another level. Get ready. Get ready, says the Lord. Get ready, okay? Look towards that. Look towards heaven, okay? His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways are higher than our ways because he's in heaven and heaven is higher than earth, okay? Heaven. The word of God. Stay in alignment. Stay in alignment with what he's saying. Okay. And also the Lord said, if you don't got anything, one thing you got is your word. And that means, a, that means a couple of things. It doesn't just mean one thing because it's like, he's speaking from him, from his perspective. Like, look, if you don't got nothing, you got my word. And my word is bond, says the Lord. That's something we say up north word is bond like my word is bond like nothing com can come up against my word my word will not return to me void my word i don't care about what nobody else said and they went back on it <laughs> my word is bond okay and he's also saying if you don't got nothing you got your word so that word of god the bible basic instructions before leaving earth yeah stick to that don't pay attention and don't say the lord was you know what i'm getting ahead of myself i'm gonna get into the scripture and then i'm gonna get into a dream that he gave me okay so hebrews 13 and 8 jesus christ is the same yesterday 
today and forever. I'm going to say that again, Hebrews 13 and 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you know what else he said? So is the devil, okay? So is the devil. The devil is the same as he was yesterday, today, and forever, okay? Until, you know, he gets thrown into the abyss and burns for all eternity. The devil's canceled. I mean, anyway, so is the devil. So just like he was explaining to me how in Matthew 4, 8 through 11, how the devil, he is petty, okay? He's petty and he doesn't think. Okay, he can't think. It's like he just does. He just does, 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 no matter what. No matter how many times he fails, it's like insanity. Insanity is when someone does something over and over and over expecting a different result, right? That's the devil. He's completely insane. So here goes the scripture. Again, the devil taketh him unto an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all kingdoms of the world. And the glory of them. And this is Jesus because he was going on the 40 day fast, right? So the devil was there and he said unto him, all these things will I give you. I'll give you all of these things, all this, this kingdom. I will give this to you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, get thee hence, Satan. Get thee behind me. Stop playing with me. You got me all the way messed up. For it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Okay? Do y'all see what I see in that passage? First of all, the devil is delusional. So if the devil is still trying to attack Someone who he already knows is not about to listen to him because Jesus is perfect. The devil knows him, right? The devil knows the word front and back. The devil knows that Jesus is the walking word. So it's like, if he's still going to try Jesus, what makes you think he not going to still try you no matter what level you are going? Come on, somebody. Come on. It don't matter. The devil tried to make Jesus bow down when Jesus is the king of kings. Like, do you understand how delusional that is? You know he's not about to bow down, but you're still going to do it anyway. <laughs> so that's just the devil today, tomorrow, the day after that, the week after that, the month after that, forever. Like, he's never going to stop trying. But we understand that as God's people, we have the victory. Okay, that's what the Lord was explaining to me last night. Victory, victory, victory. You know, he'll repeat things over and over to get it through your head. Like, come on. Like, do you know who you are? Do you know who lives inside of you? Greater is in you than he that is in the world, literally. So it's like, come on. If the devil did that with Jesus, understand he's going to continue to try to attack your, your mind, you know, your peace, your joy, because he understands that God is going to open the floodgates of heaven. So he's not happy about that. He gets mad. Y'all heard my other word. He's pissed off right now. That's what he said. He's pissed. And Guess what? He can't do nothing about it. But what he can do is try to distract you and try to take your minds off of where God is taking you. Absolutely not. Okay? We come against the devil right now in Jesus' name. We come against all distractions in Jesus' name. Okay? We cast down all imagination sent by the enemy and every high thing that exalts his name against the knowledge of God, exalt itself, excuse me, against the knowledge of God. We bind those thoughts right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We attack whatever thoughts are attacking whoever is listening to this. In the mighty name of Jesus, we increase, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit. We decrease the flesh right now in the mighty name of Jesus, okay? We're going to receive all that the Lord has for us. We are not going to come into alignment with whatever the devil is saying, whatever he's he's throwing at you, okay? Any memories he's throwing at you, we bind them right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Huh. got me all the way messed up so and the lord was also because you know when i'm reading scripture he'll make certain words stand out to me and have me look them up so again again stood out to me and again also means a new and a fresh right a new and a fresh and god was giving me confirmation on that as i'm on youtube a new and a fresh so sometimes he will allow the devil to send things at you just to pour out a fresh anointing in you, just to fresh pour out um, a new way of seeing him, a new way of seeing the spirit realm. You know, sometimes he just needs you to reboot, 
Thank you, Lord. Sometimes he needs you to reboot and sometimes he needs you to go back to the way you used to speak because some of us may have lost our, our spirit language on the way because we're just, it's just so much going on. But God is like, no, I need you to continue to speak affirmations over yourself. I need you to continue to say, I am blessed. I am highly favored. I am blessed going in and blessed coming out. Okay. I am victorious. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am, I am, I am. I am. Continue, continue to speak life over you no matter what, no matter how good it looks, no matter how bad it looks, you have to continue to speak this over yourself. Just because you go to another level does not mean that that stops. No, you continue. You continue to stay in his presence. You continue to stay prayerful. You continue, okay? So sometimes God is like, you know what? I'm going to allow this to happen so you can remember, so you can remember how you had to speak when you were low, when you were at your lowest point, he wants to pour out a new fire, fresh fire, again, again. Come to me again. Cry out to me again. Remember who I am again. Don't talk like you used to talk. Absolutely not. Continue to speak. Powerful. Don't let... What, however anybody else around you talks, influence the way you talk, absolute, absolutely not. You got power, authority, and dominion. Continue to walk out that, that power and authority and dominion. Those, on, those unnecessary words that are coming out of your mouth that are speaking against the very thing that God wants you to walk into, we come against that in Jesus' name. No. It's either one or the other. You, you speak in life or you speak in death. Life, death. Hate or love, where's the middle? Death of life, where's the middle? Truth of lies, where's the middle? Cold or hot, where's the middle? Lukewarm, you get spit up. Spirit, let me still my lit up. Okay? Yeah, I'm back slid on this walk. Had to get up. Start hitting sin. I got fed up. And it don't even have to be sin. It could just be your words. My words are backsliding. My words are going backwards. I need to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Christ Jesus. Okay? Because if you're not moving forward, what are you doing? You're moving backwards. Absolutely not. Increase, increase, increase. Okay? That's what we're walking into. Overflow. That's what we're walking into. Greatness. That's what we're walking into. Blessings. That's what we're walking into. Then the Lord was bringing to me a dream, right? So he gave me this dream and this was a reminder to trust him. So in this dream, I'm getting away from my family because they're trying to take my life. And I end up in Atlanta and I see a family member that lives in Atlanta because I have family members that live in Atlanta, don't talk to none of them. But I have family members that live in Atlanta. And so in the dream, my family member pulled up like they was about to pick me up and I was going to live with them and they were going to help me, you know, get on my feet after what I just been through. But they pulled off on me. So I didn't get in the car. And I remember in the dream, I'm like, OK, whatever, because I knew God had me regardless. And guess what? He carried me through. He provided. He made sure I was good. And as I woke up, he was like, you need to remember that. I gave you that dream so you could remember what I just took you out of. So all this little petty stuff that the devil sent in, absolutely not. It's not going to prosper, okay? You need to stop looking at that and look at me because look at where you just came from. And this goes for everybody. Look at what I took you out of. Look at the lifestyle that I took you out of. Look at the mindset that I took you out of. Look at the, the, the sin that I took you out of. Look at the addiction that I took you out of. Look at the anger that I took out of you. Look at the peace that I gave you. Look at the joy that I gave you. Look at the hope that I gave you. Don't forget what I did before. I'm the same God. I'm the same Jesus Christ. That blood still works. Okay? Look at where you could have been. You could have been dead. Remember that. I took you out. What makes you think I'm not going to bring you out of this? This is light. <laughs> that was the hardest time. That was the toughest thing. That was rough. This right here is petty. The devil's getting petty. But understand, he cannot win. 
That's what the Lord was explaining to him. You already won. Winner, winner. He kept saying winner, winner. You are a winner. The devil already lost. He's already defeated. So he's mad. He's going to try to send a little stuff. Let me tell you what the devil tried to get me to do the other day. This is how petty he is. And this is how he really don't got a brain, okay? His little horns. He thinks with his horns, okay? He thought for a second that his little, what he said to me was going to work. Are you kidding me? This is what the devil said, right? He said, gamble. Yeah. Gamble. So you realize that all this other, because he tried to get me to drink. He said, drink. You want to drink, don't you? Yeah, that's how he talked. He noticed I didn't drink. So he went so left field. <laughs> Talk about some gamble. First of all, I am not a gambler. Never was. I was never into that. I would go to the casino, use my little $20 on it, lost it. And that's it. I'm not going to keep going, okay? That's crazy to me. I'm not going to put out anything in hopes that I'm gonna receive something in return. So that alone just shows you that gambling of the devil, that's of Satan, because literally he tried to get me to gamble the other day. And I'm like, really? And I said, God, did he run out of things to do? Did he run out of things to say? He said, yes. <laughs> the devil's running out of things, okay? He tried to get me to gamble, something that I did not like, something that I was telling people around me, um, you're bugging, you're losing so much money doing this. And a sometimes gaining. Absolutely not. Gamble? Really? Mm-mm. 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 The devil is a whole lot here. A whole lot. 2 Timothy 2, 16 and 18. And avoid empty chatter and worthless words, for they simply add to the irreverence of those who converse in that manner. So I'm going to break that down. It's like that worthless chatter worthless words empty words okay because it's either gonna be full or empty right one or the other all that's doing is making you just like those who speak death on a daily is that you absolutely not that is not my portion that is not your portion so we come against those words that are speaking death that are adding nothing to us but taking away we come against them we cast it down to the lake of fire where it came from no for the words of the for the words of Hymenius and Philetus, Philetus, Phil, are like gangrene. They have already spread their poison to many. Okay, they are they are lost to the truth and teach gross error when they teach that the resurrection of the dead has already passed. They are guilty of subverting undermining and damaging the authority and power that we have of the faith of some believers so all that's saying is like look that's not how we talk as god's children okay all those empty words worthless chatter what is it doing for you absolutely nothing okay and it's like if you're speaking things that are not elevating you or bringing life into your situation bringing peace into your situation or joy or anything that's higher than earth guess what you speaking like the world and we ain't got time for that ain't nobody got time for that okay we on the lord's time not our time okay we on the lord's way of speaking we speak like the lord we speak higher we don't speak those empty words of nothingness that's just gonna damage your faith that's just gonna draw you away from your purpose. Okay. First Timothy 1 and 19, holding faith and a good conscience, which some have put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck. So when you're speaking things that don't align with the Lord or don't align with where He's taking you, you're making shipwreck. You're wrecking your entire ship. Okay, you're doing a whole Titanic on your faith. Absolutely not. No, it's either your ship is gonna wreck or it's gonna be sailing. Which one? Your faith is either gonna be wrecked by the enemy or strengthened 
in God, one or the other, one or the other. Make room for God to enter. So that means you have to empty out anything that is distracting you, anything that is weighing down on you, anything that is creating burdens, okay? Giving you a burden to carry. No, we don't carry burdens. We give them to the Lord and we just walk out and we just walk peace, okay? We walk in peace. We walk in joy. We stay strong in the Lord because if not, then you are weakened in the flesh. The spirit is willing. The flesh is weak. We need to stay in the spirit at all times. Do not let the spirit go. Let the spirit flow. Amen. Don't let the spirit go. Let the spirit flow. So guys, I just pray that you have a great day, week, month, and a year. And Jesus is mighty, holy, precious, powerful, omnipotent, great, beautiful name in Jesus. I already just said in Jesus. Y'all know I just like saying Jesus. Y'all have a great, amazing day.